Wait, we're pulling all these shards just for a skin? What up guys, Grumjiff here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. It is a summon event again. It's the 10x summons. It's got some pretty cool champs involved with it. Really the reason I'm doing it and a lot of other people are doing it, besides getting some great, great champions, is this right here, the skin for Trunda, the free skin. Right here you get the 20 fragments. Yeah, there's some other good stuff if you can get up there. Not my favorite type of events. I don't like summons because it's all based on the type of shard you pull. If you've seen my video on the mystery shard thing, you can do it. It's not worth it. It's a pain. I mean, it takes hours to do it properly. Anyways, as you can see here, we got really good champs, though. And then there's some more good champs coming. What is it? Sunday, Monday. So there's another set of champs coming then. You know, I mean, everyone here wants a Krisk. Even a second Krisk or a third Krisk isn't a bad idea. Plus, with now the empowerment and all that other garbage we have to deal with. We get to deal with, not have to. We get to. We get to do that. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and pull 60 Ancients, 11 Voids, and uh, 2 Sacreds. I did buy the monthly pack, and then the rest is just stuff I had. Anyways, here we go. Let's just uh, kick it off with some Ancients. Hopefully get a little bit of luck in our last video, which was just terrible. Terrible bad luck. Again, it's standard points on this tournament, which is kind of... Whatever. You could get 10 Legendaries. It's going to be the same as getting... Attack session, nothing but blue across the board, which makes you super painful to do. It is whale only event level kind of spending that they expect of these events to get all the stuff. That's what they really want. Like I said, you can do it with, uh, you can do it with mystery, but I wouldn't do it. Nothing good so far, which is kind of what to be expected. I don't think I've gotten a single chance that's in there. I don't remember who the. Ancient shard, ancient or uh, epic would be. There's attack session right there. Frozen banshees, spectacular. Kind of outdated, but still an amazing, amazing rare. Like really, really cool, really cool rare. Try not to touch my face too much. I always forget if I touch my face, I block my mouth. So you know, heads up tip for all you out there. Your mouth is on your face. Back to back, doesn't matter. Fortress is good, or Skullcrusher's good, Shinesha's good, Hope is better, Lady Atessa is ally attack if you're desperate. Free to play ally attack champion is what she really is. Alright, we'll just rock off our 10 here, boy shards, see if we get a little more love here. I don't think I've gotten a legendary for a while out of Void, but again, I don't, I don't track, I know a lot of people do, they like to keep ahead of it, on top of it. What have you. So here's 120 per shard. There's our first one from the actual pull of uh, Godseeker and Ari. She is spectacular. The double revive system, the extended buffs. She's just, she's got it all. And there is our last one, Chevalier. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Finally finishing up with the two sacreds. Make it a sweet short video here. And boom, here we go. 500 points no matter what. Bear off the blood so man, I wish this guy was good. I really do. He was a cool looking character. You know, all the blood and everything, the white hair. Really, really cool. And then just kind of sucked. What's 8-3? Decreased attack, decreased defense. There's just too much. He just didn't hit hard enough. He didn't do enough to really want you to build him out. So no legendaries today. She, Rector Draith, I believe, is part of it. She's an amazing champion. Excellent, excellent champion. Still used by a ton of people whenever you need resistance or whenever you need a good reviver. But wait, there's more! Did you buy more packs, even though you didn't need packs? Yeah, I bought packs, even though I didn't need packs. Okay. <laughs> Let's hit it. Here we go. 11 more just to get that XP barrel. Here we go! Boom! Maybe, 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 maybe! This is the tack on to the end of the video that you didn't have to watch because I said goodbye already! Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. There it is. Here we go. Pop, poop, bang, bong. Not worth it. Later. I'm out. Oh, these 11s are going to kill me. All just for an XP barrel. Give me something I can work with. Give me something I can work with for an XP barrel. I don't think it's going to give me anything to work with here. That's two bouts. Two bouts. 
Boom. Here we go. Here it is. XP barrel. Ah, I figure what the heck. Did not pay off at all to do it. And they don't have room for that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, um, there's the huge expensive pack. Anyways, let's see what we got out of this. You saw what we did. So that gives me the fragments, but only barely. Because you have to remember, it's about shard value, and there just isn't any in the Ancients. I think this is criminally low. I would like to see it personally be at least 50. But hey, I don't run the company. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have way better luck than I do. Let me know in the comments below, and uh, keep on raiding.